Knights Baseball Stadium, also known as Knights Castle. We're going to examine the site of what was Knights Castle in Fort Mill, South Carolina. On a beautiful Sunday morning, we'll take a tour. You can look around. You can see the near parking lot as you come into the Knights Stadium area. And this is Deerfield Road, where my car is parked. And you'll see the um, water tower that is so notable. And uh, we're going to get into our little craft here. And I want you to strap in because we are going to fly high and get a view of the baseball tower that you have never seen here in Fort Mill, South Carolina. So we're taking off facing southwest as we're going up to the tower. Don't have the exact height, but I would say it is between 225 and 250 feet as we look north up Interstate 77. Fireworks are for sale. Looking southwest, we're going to go a little higher and see the tower you've never seen before. We're going to see the very top of it there for a sec. And we're going to look around the beautiful sky, beautiful Carolina blue sky. And uh, our craft is... Um, going to take a panoramic view. There's the road, Deerfield Road as it comes into Knights Stadium area. It's where the fans would travel in to see their favorite team, the Charlotte Knights, which played in Fort Mill, South Carolina. And there is another panoramic shot looking north again, looking east towards where the stadium existed exactly there. It was a beautiful Sunday morning. About this time I had a large bird that was interested in my craft so you will notice me trying to get a shot of the large bird and I have to admit I failed but I did get there we are I'm trying to move around get uh, thought I was going on with this bird that was flying around my aircraft and now we're looking almost south uh, down I-77 towards Rock Hill South Carolina and a nice beautiful view of the uh, baseball tower which is the subject of our flight here and we're gonna just look down a little bit. Let's go south. Oh, oh, watch out for that! Watch out for that large tower. There's a bird flying around us. I really wish I'd gotten a picture of that bird. I don't think it was a hawk. It certainly wasn't a pterodactyl. Those are no longer in existence, as far as we understand. Now we're looking back at the parking lot area, and we're facing where the stadium actually existed. And we're doing another panoramic view. Oh, there's our, there's our tower. You'll have to stay tuned for the other segments of this equation. I wanted to keep this film at less than five minutes. And I um, want to make sure we got a good view of the tower. And uh, we will check out the uh, stadium area a little closer in the next video. So thank you very much. And now we're looking back down Deerfield Road. And we're going to angle the camera straight down. And you'll see there's some construction equipment in my beautiful car. Of course, my sexy body is down there. You probably didn't see that. That's too bad for you. But okay, we're looking. I'm uh, trying to dodge the bird, actually. Um, we're going to fly down Deerfield a little bit. Oh, here comes a churchgoer. There's a ch large church down on the property. And I would guess on a Sunday morning that may be someone associated with the church because there's very little traffic during the weekend. Although during the week, there is a few office buildings down that way, but very little activity. Looks like I-77 has uh, sparse traffic, so um, here on Sunday morning, folks are traveling just fine. But it is a beautiful morning. And once again, we'll get a look at the fireworks sign as we descend back to our landing spot. We may take another few, I'm not exactly sure. But you can see the long shadows of the morning as the sun's coming in from the, from the east and moving south. And we're going to go ahead and land our craft. And we appreciate your trip and flying with us here on Dave Air. So there's me, and have a great day. Check us out for part two, or should I say part two.